After our last match, our manager gave us a day off. He said, you know what, you guys have been playing pretty well lately. We've been winning a lot of games, we've been scoring a lot of goals. He told us to go take the day off. So, a lot of the guys went down to, to a, a sports bar called Buffalo Wild Wings. And they went and got some wings. They, I think they watched a Cubs game. But me, I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have the day to myself. I'm just gonna relax. Not think about all the speculation that's been going on about my future. Will I stay in Chicago? Will I go to Europe? So this was nice for me to just get away, be by myself, and just think about my future. And I, I don't care what they're gonna say in the media about me being separate from my teammates. I don't care. Cause this day off was about doing what's best for me. But now I gotta put the clubs away and I gotta focus on our match here against Sporting KC at home. Sporting KC is at the top of the Eastern Conference right now. So three points today would do wonders for us. As you can see, we're sitting in fifth, which is in a playoff spot. As always, we get the first chance of the game and it's a beautiful passing move from us. Nayasi finds me. I find Koisis. Koisis hits it back to me. I'm gonna find McGee. Mike McGee on the ball. Sends a through ball. It's there. He shoots it. Saved by the keeper and I could not get there for the rebound and the second shot just goes straight into Matt Beasler. And let me tell you, this was the most boring game ever. I swear to God. Like, just, I'm a spoiler right now. I don't even care. It ended 0-0, right? This was about the only good chance of the whole game. It ended 0-0. See, there's half time. And this, the, literally, this is the only highlight from that second half. I watched the whole second half over again. This is the only highlight. Check this right here. This is 62 minutes in. They've had 71% possession and only three shots and two on target. Anyways, that would be full time and the most boring game I've ever been a part of. I come out of there with a 5.7. I got zero shots. But I mean, what am I supposed to do with my team getting 29% of the ball? As you can see though here, we got a we got a US Open Cup match against San Jose Earthquakes, which I decide to simulate because I'm really trying to stay fit for those MLS fixtures. You guys probably won't like me simming that, and I apologize, but I'm really trying to stay fit for MLS. Now you guys are probably wondering why am I showing you that it is on world class? Well, because this game it just doesn't seem like world class. It just it it just doesn't. So I wanted to show you the whole beginning little sequence, just just to make sure you guys are like trusting me that this is world class because like this game was not like world class in any way, shape, or form. And you guys will get what I mean by that as soon as we start the game. But here you see we're sitting in 6th, Columbus Crew sitting in 3rd, and straight from the opening kickoff, we get a chance. It's McGee. McGee puts it through to me. I'm on the ball. I drop it. There for Koisis. Koisis, he sees McGee. He gives it to McGee. McGee shoots, and McGee puts it into the back of the net. And this is what I mean when I say it doesn't look like world class. I think what the thing that happened was we just came up against a very weak Columbus Crew team. I think like all Columbus Crew center backs... Other players, for that matter, are like 60 rated, including their goalkeeper, because this game was just too easy. I mean, look at this. I just dribbled through everybody. I take it into the area. I smack it. It's saved by the keeper. McGee smacks it. Straight into the keeper again, and they will get a chance here. It's Koisis. And you know what? I honestly think Lorancevic decides, I don't score very much, so I'm going to pop one into my own net. I mean... It's understandable he only gets one touch and it's an awkward ball for him to deal with. But if you're only about to get one touch, just boot that thing away. In here, you saw I was under pressure. 25th minute, I couldn't do nothing with it, but I'm going to take the ball. McGee sees me. He sends it through. I'm one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. 2-1. And that is, I believe, my eighth goal of the season. Yeah, it's my eighth goal of the season. And I'm just wrecking this year. If I'm not catching some big clubs in Europe, attention... I don't know what will because I've been scoring goals for fun. And here is another example of just bad Columbus crew. I'm going to take it off and straight from the kickoff. A bad touch from the center back. And I'm going to pop this one into the back of the net as well. It's 3-1 in the 28th minute. I've already got a brace. This game was just insane. Like, I don't, I'm not even sure if I'm done scoring yet. And that would bring us to halftime. I get the, the brace before halftime. Four goals in the first half, but they get a chance. Trap shoots it and drops over the bar. We were so lucky. I, th I thought that one was about to drop in. And from the corner, where could we launch a counter? It's Lavelle Palmer putting it forward. It's there for Koisis. He gives it to me. I cut inside. 
I see McGee out of side not to send him. I'm taking this myself. I split through the two defenders. We're going with the keeper. Take it around him and pop it into the back of the net. And that is my first career hat trick. And we are 4-1 up on Columbus Crew. Now you see what I mean when I tell you this game just did not seem like world class at all. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still not even sure if I'm done. 68th minute, we're going to get another chance. I'm going to play it up for Ameriqua. I make a wonderful run. Ameriqua puts a wonderful ball through. I'm one-on-one -on -one with the keeper again, and I'm going to put it away again. 5-1 in the 69th minute. I've got four goals in the game. I'm just I'm just unstoppable. You see me and Ameriqua doing the little Gibbs and Walcott celebration, and we just went ham. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of hearing of the... Of the Song by now. I'm a whip on it for Ameriqua and he hits it off the bar. So close to being six there. And crew have a chance to get one back here. But they spoon that one off to the right of the goal. And we have another chance here. I'm on the ball. I'm a find nobody. But I'm gonna get it back and Ameriqua's on it. And he's gonna find me. He's gonna dink a nice ball over the top. Chest it. Folly it back of the net. Six one. Fifth goal of the game. I don't even know how to describe this game. Like, I, I didn't know what was happening when I was playing it. Like, I was wondering if I, like, accidentally changed the difficulty to professional or even, like, semi-pro. This was just way too easy. The Columbus Crew defense were just so bad. And here, can we launch another attack? Surely, surely I can't make it seven. Ameriqua sees me through. I get a touch. I shoot it! Saved by the keeper, and it's about to get cleared. But... Crew have a chance here to pull one back. Jimenez finds it through to Trap, And Trap makes it 6-2. Pretty much just a consolation goal for them. But I mean, it's nice getting a break from the goal music every once in a while, isn't it? 90th minute here. We're going to get another chance. I'm going to get fouled. About 25 yards out. Ameriqua to the free kick. He hits it off the stanchion. Bounce before the goal. No chance of going in anyways. And off the goal kick. The referee would blow his whistle for full time. What a game. As you can see, I'll walk out of there with a 9.7 match rating. I want to say thank you guys for watching. These videos are so fun to make. I apologize for the lack of Arsenal and Schalke videos. I'm just focusing on this because this is so much dang fun and you guys seem to enjoy it. So yeah, I'm going to keep it up. Thanks for watching and adios.